If you can imagine a world without blueberries, strawberries, avocados, macadamia nuts, then you're imagining a world without bees. Bees play a vital role in the very making of these foods and other foods possible. In fact, three quarters of global food crops rely on pollination by insects, by bees, to thrive. For pollination services, farmers often rely on a single species of bee, the European honeybee. Now, these bees have always had a problem with diseases, and in the last decade, particularly so from viruses. Honeybees have been brought to their knees by disease. So much so that there are international concerns that the honeybee just can't do it alone anymore. Relying on a single species of bee was always a risky strategy. The good news is we don't have to. There is a plan, and I call it Plan B. <laughs> honeybee. No, native bee. <laughs> and we have over 2,000 different species. And they are very efficient pollinators and they can work with honeybees. And when they do so, the proportion of flowers that develops into mature fruits can double. Now that's great news for sustainability and other buzz words. But to ensure Plan B, we need to make sure we have a healthy population of native bee. Now it's possible that native bees might share some of their diseases with honeybees, but I'm more concerned if honeybees are sharing their diseases with native bees, particularly those viruses, because then they can start to do real damage to our wildlife. These viruses don't necessarily kill outright, but they can compromise a bee's ability to look after itself in a whole range of ways. Now for honeybees, they're social and they live in hives of tens, tens of thousands. So they can accommodate this inefficiency to a certain degree. But our native bees, they mostly live alone. And when a solitary bee can't look after itself, it dies. And its future generations do too. So that's why I'm out there collecting honeybees and native bees and looking for viruses. And I know there's been some sharing going on. So I'll have to look at the genetic material of those viruses if I am to discover who is infecting whom. When I know that, we can develop strategies to prevent our valuable pollinators and healthiest foods from disappearing. Because a world without bees would be fruitless. Thank you.